This month, P&G is 172 years old. Only four Fortune 500 companies are older. We've navigated a couple world wars, numerous regional and local wars, the Great Depression, periodic panics and recessions, earthquakes, hurricanes, tornadoes, and the list goes on. And you know what? We will come out of this financial crisis and global recession stronger than we went in. So what has enabled P&G to thrive, not just survive so many challenges over so many decades? Well, I believe it's because we're purpose-driven, values, and principles-led. Our purpose is to touch consumers and improve their everyday lives. Right now, we're serving about 3.8 billion. We're committed to serve 5 billion by 2015. Our values, integrity and trust, leadership and ownership. Our principles guide us to do the right thing for the greater good and the longer-term health of the business and the institution. Now, we believe business in general, and P&G in particular, touch and improve more lives every day in our increasingly interconnected and global economy. When we're at our best, business, including P&G, are a consistent force for economic growth and a passionate force for a better society. We believe it's not just enough to grow sales and profits. We have a responsibility to the communities in which we live and work. We know we must grow, but grow sustainably and responsibly. We, we use our resources, our money and our people, our capabilities and our energies for the long-term benefit of society. At P&G, we innovate to attract and delight consumers. We grow by continuing to innovate and serving more consumers more completely. Innovation is our lifeblood. Virtually every single one of P&G's leading billion dollar brands began with a revolutionary new product technology. Brands like Tide and Crest and Pampers. All of P&G's organic sales growth this decade and most of our profit growth was driven by innovative new brands and products. P&G's leading brands make up 85% of total company sales and over 90% of profits. More importantly, each of these brands improves a lot of lives. Every day, 30 million loads of laundry are done in Tide. Every day, 35 million babies are diapered with Pampers. Every day, 100 million people care for their teeth and gums with Crest. Every day, 700 million shave with Gillette. Innovative companies improve more lives. Innovative companies are catalysts for economic growth, and economic growth is the primary responsibility of business. Big global innovation companies are engines of growth for our nation and for our, wor our world. This year, P&G will sell over $80 billion of everyday household and personal care products in more than 165 countries. We will spend about $45 billion with thousands of external suppliers, large, medium, and small. Economic analysts estimate the total benefit to the entire supply chain network is about three times our direct spend, or $135 billion just for P&G suppliers and their suppliers this year. These revenues create jobs. We employ about 135,000 directly, about one-third in the U.S. to support 35% of total company sales in the U.S. In addition, we create and support another one and a half million jobs in our U.S. and worldwide supply chains. And we create another 100,000 jobs in our go-to-market distribution and merchandiser network. We paid more than $4 billion in taxes last year, half of which are federal, state, and local taxes here in the U.S. We've made $16 billion in U.S. real estate plant and equipment investments. We're currently investing more than a half a billion dollars in a major new state-of-the-art papermaking plant in Utah. We're just opening a $50 million Gillette Innovation Center in South Boston that houses management, the Innovation Center, and the manufacturing plant in one complex. Now, we're just one company, but without P&G, or with a smaller, less competitive, and less global P&G, the economic impact of our business would obviously be much less. While our primary focus is on the sustainability of our business and our institution, 
for the benefit of customers, partners, employees, and share owners. We're also committed to the broader sustainability of our society and of our planet. For those whose needs are greatest today and for our children and grandchildren tomorrow. William Proctor and James Gamble founded P&G in 1837 in Cincinnati, Ohio. Today, after decades of mismanagement and neglect, we are bringing the center city back to life. We've forged a public-private partnership with the city to redevelop Cincinnati's core. Several leading companies have joined forces to create an equity fund to provide patient capital for long-term economic and social development. I chair the Cincinnati Center City Development Corporation, a private nonprofit whose management put together the strategy and now coordinates the plans for revitalizing the city, from the banks of the Ohio River through Fountain Square to over the Rhine, our most historic but troubled inner city neighborhood. Over the past four years, we've invested about $200 million. We've only just begun, and so you can see from these before and after pictures, but we are having a dramatic effect. And people from all walks of life are now coming together in the center of our city. The simple fact is that these transformations would not happen without the involvement of business and without the initiative and leadership of companies like ours. We're taking similar initiatives in other P&G headquarters communities across the United States and around the world. William Cooper Proctor, the grandson of one of the founders, helped establish the United Way in the Midwest and led the Greater Cincinnati Regional Campaign for three years consecutively during World War I. P&Gers serve on the International Board and P&G organizations are active, advocating, contributing, and volunteering around the world. This year, I'm also chairing United Way for the region. It's a tough year. The recession has more than doubled the number of unemployed in our region, and business, the backbone of our campaign historically, is struggling. But we're not discouraged. We're innovating to tell our story of fellow citizens and neighbors in need. We're committed to broadening the donor base. We're going after 10,000 new givers, a 10% increase, and we're going to get there. We're asking leaders to do more. We're going for 1,000 new leadership gifts at 2,500 and up, and we're going to get there, and 150 new Tocqueville givers at 10,000 and up. A few individuals have stepped forward with million-dollar gifts. About a dozen more have put together a million-dollar challenge to get us to $62 million, our goal, which will make us again this year number four in per capita giving and number eight in total campaign giving in the U.S., well ahead of much larger cities like Atlanta, Chicago, Houston, and L.A. Again, businesses like P&G, GE, Macy's, Toyota, Fifth Third, Kroger, and others stepped up and made this happen.